What up, YouTube? Welcome back for another video on this beautiful day, y'all. And it's time for me to plant my sweet potato slips and transplant some other things. Big transplant, no whammies. Wonder how I did my sweet potato water toothpicks. I had it on the inside, but now it's warm enough for me to leave outside. And these are my slips. All I did was pull them off. Some were smaller, some were bigger. And just put it in a cheap cup with some water. And I waited till they all got roots on them. Oh, those are some nice roots. And I'm just going to separate them. They should separate pretty easy. I, I say that. Y'all ain't gotta watch that. They really don't. All right. This is my 50 gallon grow bag. I grew um, turnips in here. I just harvested them. So I'm just gonna mend this soil a little bit. These are the seed packs. It's organic matter. I just leave it in the I'm gonna top it off with a little Kellogg. Kellogg, if you watching. Like, Kellogg, if you watching. Shoot me an email. And this is just a random garlic that's in here. I'm going to leave her alone. She ain't bothering nobody. She's living her best life. Now, what I started doing is mixing my amendments in this little coffee thing and putting it in there like that. I got vermiculite to hold in moisture for when it get hot. I got a little biochar in there. Um, a little worm casting and some run-of-the-mill fertilizer. Now let's put in the taters, baby. Let's put the taters in. Now I really don't have a certain distance I space these out and I'm planting these way heavier than you probably should or even I would recommend but it's my garden so I'm gonna do it my way all of them don't have a um, great root system I was reading online somewhere and they say uh, plant them two to three inches deep I guess kind of but I just want to make sure I don't bury no leaves and a root cover. That's my big thing. Oh, that's a nice root system. Put her in the middle. You get middle spacing, baby, because it grew so good. Yes, you did. And I'm just going to go around and plop them in. These sweet potatoes need a lot of water. A lot of water. So, yeah. That's about it, y'all. Tell you what I put in the soil. Showed you how I made the slip. I don't know if y'all can see this, but it kind of got roots coming out right there. So I'm definitely going to bury it all the way up to there. All right, I got them all planted in. I got it watered in. I got it amended in. And I'm ready to get it in. So yeah, um, I don't respect spacing when, when it comes to uh, sweet potatoes. I probably got, I don't know, 16 slips in here. 
And I'm just gonna let them go wild, baby. Do what you do. Make Dad a pride. You know what I mean? All right, y'all. Let's plant some transplants in. All right. I'm about to plant my tree collars in the ground. Now, this is something I'm, I'm experimenting a little bit more with. Not waiting till they get super huge because I feel like, and notice I said <laughs> I feel like, that once they had a smaller size, they acclimate easier and they can put up with more. Just like a teenager when they small, they can break a bone and, and be moving the next three weeks. At my age, if I break a bone, I'm out of work for three years. You know what I mean? So I'm taking that rationale <laughs> and implanting these. We'll see how it goes. But these are tree collars. All right. Let's go with it. I've already mended this soil. And I really like planting it in the ground at this point, y'all. This, this is my thing. Tired of buying soil? Come on, Hippo. Come on, you finna go home. Yes, you is finna go home. We got worms on the bottom already. Lord, how much? All right, root check, root check. Pretty nice root, pretty nice root system to get started. Like I said, I've already mended this soil. So all I gotta do is plug and play, baby. All right, tree collars. I need collard green for the next 17 years. 17 years straight, no whammy. You got broke, even got it labels together. Label game on game. Put it there. I'm put it down a little bit, give a little room to breathe. For last video, I will sow and seed. This video is all about the transplants, baby. Getting that transplant game on. You hear me? Oh yeah. Get in there good. And wait for the collard green, baby. Now, do I think it would have did better if I planted it in winter? Yeah, maybe. But I'm doing it my way. My way. All right. These are my starts that I had on the inside growing under the grow light. I've had them outside in the greenhouse for about maybe three days. Moringa. Pepper. What kind of pepper is that? Oh, Calawanda pepper. What kind of pepper is this? Oh, this candy cane pepper. Calawanda pepper. All right, my bad, y'all. I, I get distracted very easily. But my point is... I had these in the greenhouse last three days hardening off. I think they ready. And the cool thing about this, it's not super hot right now. We still getting down into the uh, mid 40s, uh, 75 in the day. So I feel like they got a better chance to grow. So we're going to do it like this. Once the temp get up really high, then it's about to. There's some boards that I over fertilized, burnt the tips. That's neither here nor there. You still got to get out there and grow, big guy. You got to grow. All right. My boards, I want to plant in the corners of the garden. I feel like if I put it in all four corners of my garden, then it'll bring the pollinators into the garden. Makes sense in my head. Y'all know how I do. It got to make sense to me. Uh-oh, root check, root check. Nice roots. Nice roots, nice roots. Got my old trusted hoary hoary here. Hoary hoary. Y'all know, know I like to show the soil off. That's the soil I don't have in the wood chip. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's get it. And I think this boards will do way better in the soil than on them grow lights. I don't care how good your grow lights are. It ain't nothing like God light. You know what I mean? It's just something about God light make everything grow, baby. I don't know how to explain it. I'm not a planetician, but... I got my ideas, you know what I mean? So, you know what? I changed my mind. I'm going to put them two here and two at the other end of the bar. Oh, these roots. These roots ready too, baby. Roots. Put it right there. And I got uh, Miller's over here. So, I know it's going to be tight space over here. So we're gonna put them two right there. Right there, just like that. Just like that. And I got a little mycorrhizal fungi. 
I feel like it helped with transplant, so I'm gonna put a little bit on the top, scratch it in. In this corner, I'm gonna put this other boards, and I'm gonna put a moringa right there. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I feel like doing. I got a whole vision in my head. If y'all can't see my vision, don't tell me how to do it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? All right. Go on in there, boy. Go on in there, boy. All right. Let's get this moringa in here. Moringa! Let's get this moringa in here, y'all. This is this is probably gonna be my greatest growing year. On my greatest learning year. I don't know which is which yet. Might be both. And Moringa is very sensitive. So if it get anywhere in the 30, goodbye Moringa. Goodbye Moringa. A little more of this mycorrhizal fungi here with the transplant shop. You don't have to use it. I just got a real deal on it. Some of the stuff that I got that I said I wasn't going to use no more. Oh, I got it uh, cheap or next to nothing. You know what I mean, Burn? All right. Something else I'm doing different. I'm not going to plant a whole bunch of the same thing together. I'm just going to space it. Put an Ozark tomato here. I'm going to put a uh, Cali Wonder Bell Pepper over here and yeah and i'm gonna put a brandy wine tomato way over here because i feel like the tomatoes will outgrow the bell peppers and then once the tomato stop producing then the bell pepper will come through and it'll have all the sunlight you know what i mean Makes sense in my head, y'all. Don't don't question what I'm doing. Question what you doing now. Now how we do over here? Let's see that camera up there right. Oh, she good. All right, Ozark tomato gonna go right here. And this is the outskirt of my garden garden bed. I still got some stuff to plant on the inside, but according to my layout and my vision, this is what it's supposed to go with. Do y'all have a garden vision? What's your, what's your garden video? I mean vision. Put it in the comments. Is it just a whole bunch of beautiful plants? Or is it a rhyme and reason to everything you doing out there? Let me know. Inquiring minds want to know. Can you see that? Yeah, we can see that. Let's put it this way where we can see it. I hope, baby. See it all go in the ground. All these were grown from seed on the inside. This is a Cali Wonder bell pepper. My bell peppers haven't started producing until it started getting cool. So I'm gonna try this method. Oh, nice roots. Good job, bro. Good job, bro. Look better than what they selling at Bunny. Hell, Bunny, I'm talking to you, call you out, Bunny. Bunny, you don't want no smoke. Bunny, no smoke in the garden, Bunny. You hear me? No one. All right, and let's get this brand of wine in. And tomatoes don't have really vigorous roots, you know what I mean? So the easier I feel to plant next to something else. Oh, them good roots. Good job, bro. Good job, bro. You the man, bro. You the man, bro. And I would uh, plant them a little deeper, but I didn't let these get so big before I planted them out. I explained to y'all why. If y'all skip the video, that's on you. So we got that in there. Ready to rock and roll. All we gotta do is go back and uh, water them in, baby. All right, before I plant the rest of the stuff in, just give you a little overview of my bed. At the beginning, when you first get to the bed, that's where I got my tree collars planted. I have a couple of moringa planted here, straight in the ground. We're gonna see what that do. Then I'm gonna have my boards right here for the pollinators, because right there is my melons. That's my comfrey. 
uh, tried and true chop, uh, chop and drop. Hoping these this cabbage go to seed so I can get some free cabbage seeds. I got my uh, Christmas pole lima beans there. Right behind it, I got a row of garlic and onions. They're spectacular. And then if, if you come on down, this is my second planting of stuff on the inside. And then right here, I got my uh, cups where I'm gonna place everything in the ground. And that is a Calawanda bell pepper, Sodaki tomato, Sodaki tomato. Uh, I think that's a galaxy. That's a candy cane pepper. And I think that's a Sodaki. Now this was my tester tomato. This was a lemon blush, which is my favorite. I put that in the ground probably a week ago and it's made it through, uh, I think 40 degree temp. So I, I was comfortable planting everything else out here. It's my squash bed. Showed y'all that. Well, I gotta get these in the grind, y'all. I can't talk to y'all all day. Maybe I'm gonna fast forward so uh, it won't take so long. Put some cool music with I'm it. too cool for the rules, baby, get off of me. Never need no push, I do it all for me. Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me. Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be. Too true for the flex, baby, don't cap to me. Drop 50, bring 150 right back to me. Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me. Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be. Look, Papa don't preach, teachers don't teach. Gonna reach, that's facts. I ain't worried about none of that. I'm making that cash day. Bunch of O's like NASCAR, but it's really more like NASDAQ. Why they thinking that they hot when they really more like Quota on me like a referee. Hey, and what they'll never be. Small top with a big bottom. Yeah, shorty shape like a letter D. Let her have it, then I let But I do got one more seed to drop. Roselle hibiscus. Everybody talked about this last year, so I want some uh Roselle Kool-Aid too. So I'm gonna drop a couple seeds. I only want one plant from my understanding, it gets huge. So I don't know. I don't know the difficulty to germinate, but I'm gonna plant like five seeds because I really want to see what it's gonna do. Go, go get them. Go get them. Go get them. And let's see what happened, baby. All right, y'all. It's gonna be my first year plant plant ginger. Ginger. And this is turmeric over here. Look, man, if I knew it was this cheap, I wouldn't even plant uh, ginger and turmeric. I just would have bought it. Uh, this was, I want to say $6 for the ginger, $6 for the turmeric, and it's supposed to be planting ginger and turmeric. Certified USD organic by whoever that is. USDA, baby. Let's get it. All right. I broke these little hands off it. On the ginger, I guess that's how it's supposed to be done. I don't know, man. Like I say, it's my first time. I'm, I'm gonna let it do what it do and then learn. All right. So I'm gonna plant double rows of turmeric. They say about one inch deep. I got my trenches one inch deep. Maybe, maybe not. It is what it is. And these supposed to be one foot apart. Uh, I'm gonna plant them where the little fingers are up. Not sure if that's how it's supposed to be planted. It makes sense in my head. So I'm just gonna roll it all the way down. Alright, let's get this tumor again. 
I was looking for the sprouts to see which way it go. The crazy thing about this is that people don't never explain or understand. It's gonna sprout no matter how you put it in there. The stem is gonna reach for the sun, no matter how you put them in here. So, I say that on these, I've never grown. So let's plant them. Let's see what happens. And this is a lot of them. I might put a couple of them in containers just to see. But yeah, I got a lot of them. I want to say this is like six bucks, man. This is too cheap. So all right, I got them all in. I'm going to cover them up and find somewhere to put this other tumor. All right, that's the video, man. Planted turmeric in, sweet potatoes, whole bunch of things in. Um, if you got any questions about how I did this, probably ain't got a good answer for you, especially when it comes to turmeric and ginger. I've never grown it before. I'm gonna cross my finger. I need you to cross your finger too. But I'll cross your finger emojis in the chat. I'm out.